The Knight's Tale, Part 2. The Nichtis Tale, Part the Second. One that architate of Thebes common was full of the day he swelter and said a loss, and shortly to concluden all his woe, so much swore had a never creature. What should I all day of his woe end it? One he endured had a year or two, this cruel torment, and this pain and woe. At Thebes, in his country, as I said, upon a nicht in sleep as he him laid, him thought how that the winged god Mercury by forn him stood, and bade him to be merry. His sleep yerd in hond he bar a bricht, and hat he worde upon his heris bricht. Arrayed was this god, as he took keep, as he was one that Argus took his sleep, and said him thus to Athenis, Shalt thou wende, there is the shapen of thy woe and ende. And with that word Akite woke and sturter, Now, Trewelli, how sore that me smirt, Quod he to Athenis, right now wall I fare, Ne for the dread of death shall I not spare, To say my lady that I love and serve, In higher presence I reche not to strive. And with that word he caught a great mirror, and saw that changed was all his colour, and saw his visage all in another kind, and yet anon it ran him in his mind. What sith his face was so disfigured of malady uh, the which he had endured? He micht well, if that he bar him low, live in Athenis, never more unno and see his lady well nigh day and day, and right anon he changed his array, and clad him as a prover labourer, and all alone is save only a squire, that knew his privity and all his cas, which was disguised, poverly as he was. To Athenis he is gone, and next way, and to the court he went upon a day, and at the gate he proffereth his service to drug and draw what so men will devise. And shortly of this matter for to sane, he fill in his office with a chamberlain, the which that dwelling was with Emily, for he wise and could as soon espy of every servant which that serveth here, well could he hew and wode and water bear. For he was young and mighty for the nonus, and thereto he was strong and big of bonus to do that any wicht can him devise, and year or two he was in this service. Page of the chamber of Emily the Bricht. And philostrate he said that he hicht, but half so well beloved a man as he, ne'er was there never in court of his degree. He was so gentle of condition, that throughout the court was his renown. They said then that it were a charity, that Theseus Wolde enhance his degree, and put him in worshipful service, there as he mecht his virtue exorcise. And thus within a while his name was sprung, both of his deedes and his good tongue, that Theseus hath taken him so near, that of his chamber he made him square, and gaff him gold to maintain his degree, and eek men brought him out of his country. From year to year full privy his rente, but honestly and slyly he it spent he, and no man wondered how that he had, and three year in his wise if lif he lad, and bar him so his peace and eke and wearer, there was no man that Theseus hath dare, and in his blisse let I know archite, and spake I wall of Palamon alite. In darkness and horrible and strong prison, Thy seven year hath set an palamon. For pined, what for woe and for distress, Who feeleth double sore and haveness? And palamon, that love destrineth so, That would out of his wit he goth for woe, And eke thereto he is a prisoner. Perpetually knocked only for a year, who could a rhyme in English properly? His martyrdom? For soth it am not I, therefore I pass as lightly as I may. 
It fell that in the seventh year, in May, that Thridinecht, as all the books say, that all this story tellen more a plain, were it by adventure or destiny, as when a thing is shappen, it shall be, that soon after the midnech Palamon, by helping of a friend, brak his prison, and fleeth the city fast as he may go, for he had heave as a gale, drunken so, of a clary mad of a certain wine, with narcoticis of opi of Thebes fine, that all that nicht, though that men would him shake, the jail asleep, as might not wake. And thus he fleeth as faster as ever he may, the nicht was short and faster by the day, that nedes cost he moot himself and hide, until a grove faster there beside. With dreadful foot, Thanis stalketh Palamon, for shortly this was his opinion, that in the grove he would him hide all day, and in that necht Thane Wolde take his way. To Thebes ward his frienders for to pray, on Theseus to help him to weary. And shortly over he would lesser his leaf, or wainen Emmeline unto his wife. This is the fact and his intent plain, now will I turn to Arcite again, that little wister, how nigh that was his care, till that fortune had brought him in the snare. The basilark, messenger of the day, salueth in her song the Morway grey. The fiery Thebus riseth up so bricht, that all the Orient laugheth of the licht. And with his stremus drieth in the graves, the silver drop is hanging on the leaves, an architer that is in the court royal, with Theseus his squire principal, is risen and looketh on the merry day, and for to doon his observance of May, remembering eh, on the point of his desire, he on a courser startling as fire, is ridden into the fields, him to play out of the court, were it a mile or tway, and to the grove of which that I yow told, by adventure his way and gone to hold, to macken him a garland of greaves, were it wodebine or hawthorn leaves, and loader he song, eenen and sonshen, may with all e thy flowers and thy grain welcome be thou fair fresh may, in hope that I some grain a great may and from his courser, with a lusty heart, into the grove full hastily he start, and in a path he roameth up and down, there as by adventure his palamon was in a bush that no man mecht him say, for so afeared of his death was he. No thing, nay, knew he that it was Arcite, God would, he wold, have trod it full light, but sooth, he said, Go, sitheth many years, that field hath ain, and woda hath ears. It is full fair a man to bear him even, for all day meeteth men at unset Stephen. Full little wood archite of his fellow, that was so nigh to hearken all his sow. For in the bush he sitteth now full still, one that Arcite had roamed all his fill, and songing all the round and lustily, into a study he fell all suddenly. As doon these lovers in here quente geras, now in the cropper and doon in the breras. Now up, now down, as bucket in a well, right as the Friday, soothly for to tell, for now it shineth. Now it raineth fast, right so can giri Venus overcast. The hearters of her folk, right as her day, is grateful, right so changeth she array. Selde is the Friday all the woke ilik, one that Arcite had song he gan to seek, and set him doon withouten any more. Alas, quod he, the day that I was bore. How long, eh, Juno, thirk thy cruelty, Walto wearenen Thebes the city, Alas, he brocht is to confusion, The blood royal of Cadme and Amphium. 
of Cadmus, which that was the first man, that Thebes built it, or first the town began, and of the city first was crowned king, of this living am I, and of his offspring. By very line, as of the Stoke Royal, and now I am so caitiff and so thrall, that he that is my mortal enemy, I serve him as his squire, poverly. And yet doth Juno me well more shame, for I dar noch pick no mine own name. But theres I was wont to hicht architae, now hicht I philostrate, noch worth a might. Alas, thou fell Elmars, alas, Juno, thus hath your ere ure legan an fordo. Save only for me the wretched Palmon that Theseus martyreth in prison, and over all this to slean me outrelay, love hath his fiery dart so brenningly, he strict through the truer careful heart that sharpen was my death erst than my shart. Ye slean me with your eye and Emily, ye been the cause wherefore that I die of all the remnant of mine uther care, ne sette I not the mountains of a tear. So that I could doon aught your pleasance, and with that word he fell doon in a trance, and long time after that he upstart this palamon that thorte that through his heart he felt a cold sword suddenly glide, for I he core no longer would he bide, and one that he had heard Arcite's tale, as he were wood with face deed and pale, and stood him up out of buskets thick, and said, Arcite, false traitor wick, now art thou hent that lovest my lady so, for whom that I have all this pain and woe, and art my blood unto my counsel sworn, as I full oft, oft have said thee here befon, and hast be japed here, Duke Theseus, and falsely changed, hast thy name thus. I wall by deed, or else thou shalt die, thou shalt not love my lady Emily, for I will love her only in Namo, for I am Palamon, thy mortal foe. And though that I no weapon have in this place, but out of prison am astirt by grace, I dread not that other thou shalt die, or thou ne shalt not love an Emily. Chis, which thou wilt, for thou shalt not astert, this architae with full despiteous heart, won him knew, and had his tale heard, as fire he leon pulled his sword, and said thus, by God that sit above, ne'er shalt thou art sick and wood for love, and eke that thou no weapon hast in this place, thou shouldest never out of this grove pace, that thou ne shouldest deign of mine hond, for I defy and sear it on the bond, which that thou sayest that I have mad to thee, what very fool think well that love is free, and well I would, and I will love here, magri all thy micht, but for as much thou art a worthy nicht. And willnest to darine hire by batail, have here my truth to morrow I will not fail, without waiting of any uther wicht that here I will be founden as a nicht, and bring in harness right enough for me, and chess the best and leaf the worst for me, and meat and drink this nicht will I bring enough for thee and clothes for thy bedding, and if so be that thou my lady win, and slay me in this wood there I am in. Thou mayest well have thy lady as for me, this Palamon answered, I grant it thee, and thus they be departed till a morwe, one ech of him and laid his faith to borwe. I, Cupide, out of all a charity, O rain that wilt no fellwe have with thee, full sooth is said that love, nay, lordship, wall nocht, here thank us, have no fellowship. Well, find they that Arcite and Palamon, Arcite is ridden anon unto the town, and on the morway, ere it were day's light, full privily two harnies hath he decked, 
both sufficient and mete to Darain, the battle in the field betwixt them twain, and on his horse alone he was borne, he carrieth all this harnies him before, and in the grove at time and place he set, this Arcite and Palamon ben met. To change in than the colour of her face, right as the hunters in the reign of trace, that standeth at the gap with a spear, one hunted is the leone and the bear. And heareth him come rushing in the grievous, and breaketh both bowers and leavers, and thinketh, here cometh my mortal enemy, without defail he moot or deed or I, for Uther. I smote slain him at the gap, or he moot slain me, if that me my shap. So fared and they in changing of her hue, as fur as everich of hem Uther knew. There has no good day, ne nor sallying, but strecht without an word or a hursing, everich of hem help for to arm an Uther, as friendly as he were his own brother. And after that, with sharp spears strong, they foine an echt an uther wonder long. Thou might echt, when they at this palamon, in his fichting were a wood leon. And as a cruel tiger was Arcite, as wild Boris gone they might smite, that froth and white and foom for ear wood, up to the ankle focht they are in ear wood. And in this wise I let him fighting dwell, and forth I wall of Theseus yow tell. The destiny minster general, that executeth in the world over all, the purveyance of God hath sain by fawn, so strong it is, that though the world had sworn the contrary of a thing, or ye or nay, yet sometime I shall fallen on a day and falleth now at eft within a thousand year, for certainly our appetite is here, be it of ware or of peace or hate or love, all is this ruled by the seat above. This mene I now, a mechdi Theseus, that for to hunten, as is so desirous, and namely at the greater heart in May, that in his bed there draweth him no day, that he nice clad and ready for to ride with hunter and horn and hounds him beside for in his hunting hath he swicht a lit that it is all his joy and appetite to bean himself the greater hurtus bane for after mass he severeth now then Clear was the day, as I have told ere this, and Theseus, with all a joy and bliss, with his Hippolyta, the fair queen, and Emily, clothed all in green, or hunting be they ridden royally, and to the grove that stood full fast by, in which there was an hurt, as men him told, Duke Theseus, the strecht way hath hold, and to the lande him rideth him full right, for thither was the wert wont have his flight. And over brook and so forth his way, this duke wall han a course at him, or tway, the hound as swech as that him list command, and one this duke was come unto the land. Under the sun he looketh, and anon, he was war of Akite and Palamon, that fought and breme as it were Boris too, the bricht swerdes went and to and fro so hideously that with the least stroke it semed that it would fell and oak. But what they were, nothing he ne woot. This duke his courser with his spurs smoot, and at a sterte he was betwixt them two, and pulled a sword and cried, Who? Namore, op pain of lessening of your heed, by mighty Mars he shall anon be deed. The smiteth any stroke that I may seen, but telleth me what meister men ye been, that been so hardy for to fight and hear with outen judger or other officer, as it were in Lister's royal. This Palamon answered hastily. He said, Sire, what needeth words more? We have the death deserved both two. Two woeful riches be we, two caitivus that been encumbered of our own leave. 
and as thou art a fightful lord and judge, ye never us, neither mercy ne refuge, but slay me first for sainted charity, but slay my fellow eke as well as me, or slay him first, for, though thou knowest it light, this is thy mortal for this architae. For though thy lond is banished on his head, for which he hath deserved to be dead, for this is he that come unto thy gate, and said that he hechte philostrate. Thus hath he japed thee full many a year, and thou hast maked him thy chief squire. And this is he that loveth Emily, for sith the day is come that I shall die, I make plainly my confession, that I am thilke woeful Palamon, and hath thy prison broken wickedly. I am thy mortal foe, and it am I, that loveth so hoot Emily the brecht, that I will die present in her secht, wherefore I ax death in my joys, but slay my fellow in thy same wise, for both their hand we deserved to be slain. This worthy duke answered anon again, and said, This is a short conclusion. Your own mouth, by your confession, hath dampened you, and I will it record. It needeth not to pine youth with the cord. Ye shall by deed, by mighty Mars the red. The queen anon, for very womanhead, gan for to weep, and so did Emily, and all the ladies in the campaign, great pity was it, as it thought hem alle, that ever swecha chan shalifala, for gentleman they were of great estate, and no thing but for love was this debate, and so her bloody wounds weed and sore, and all a criden both lass and more, have mercy, Lord, upon us women all, for on her bare knees adon they fall, and Wolde have kissed his feet there as he stood, till at last a slake it was his mood. For pity renneth soon in gentle heart, and though he first for ire cook and start, he hath considered shortly in a close the trespass of him both and eke the close, and although at that his ear here guilt accused, yet in his reason he him both accused, as thus he thought well that every man will help himself in love if that he can and eke deliver himself out of prison, and eke his heart hard a compassion of woman, for they weapon every noon, and in his gentle heart he thought anon, and soft unto him he said, Fie, upon a lord that will have no mercy, but being a leon, both in word and deed, to him that been in repentance and dread, as well as to a proud, despiteous man, that wall maintain that he first began, that lord hath little of discretion, that in swich cas can no division. But weigheth pride and humblest afternoon, and shortly one his ire is thus agoon. He gan to looken up with iron light, and spak this same wordes all on hechte, the god of love, a benedicte, how mechte and how great a lord he is. Eens his mecht there gaineth non obstacles, for may be klepte a god for his miracles, for he can maken at his own guise of ever rich heart as that him this device. Lo here this architae and this palamon, that quietly weren out of my prison, and mechte han lived in Thebes royally, and witten I am here mortal enemy, and that here death lith in my mecht also, and yet hath love maugri here e and to. He brought him hither both for to die. Now looketh, is not that an high folly? For may been a folly, but if he love, beholden for God this sake that sit above. See how they blade, be they not well arrayed. Thus hath here Lord, the God of love, he paid, here wages and here fees for his service, and yet they women for to be full wis, that serve and love for aught that may befall, but this is yet the best game of all. 
for she, of whom he hath this jollity, can hem therefore as much thank as me. She wots na more of all this hoot affair, by God that woot a cocko or an hair. But all moot ben said, hoot and cooled, a man moot ben a fool, or young or old, I woot it by myself, full your agon, for in my time a servant was I one, and therefore sain I know of love's pain, and woot how sore it can a man distrain, as he that hath been caught oft in his lass, I yo for ever, and wholly this trespass. At request of the queen, ah, that kneeleth here, and eke of Emily, my sister dear, and ye shall both anon unto me swear that never more shall ye country dare, ne make wear upon me nicht ne day, but been my friendes in all that ye may. I yo, for ave this trespass, every deal, and that him sworn his axing fair and weal, and him of lordship and of mercy prayed, and he him granteth grace, and thus he said, to speak of royal lineage and richness, thou that she were a queen or a princess. Eche of ye both is worthy doubtless, to wedden one time is but nathless. I speak as for my sister Emily, for whom ye have this strife and jealousy. Ye would yourself, she may not wedden too, atone us though, ye fighten ever more. That oon of ye all be him luth o life, he moot go pipen in an ify leaf. This is to sayn that she not now hath both, all be ye never so jealous, nay she wroth, and fourthly, I o put it in this degree, that each of yow shall have his destiny, as him in shape, and hercneth in what wise, lo, here your end of that I shall devise, my will is this, for plat conclusion, withouten any replication, if that you liketh, take it for the beste, but everich of you shall goon where him leste, freely, withouten ronson or danger, and this day fifty weeks for near near. Every of you shall bring an hundred nichts, armed for leistis, up at all richts, all ready to derain heil and battle, and this behold I yo without and fail, upon my troth, and as I am a nicht, that whether of you both and hath micht. This is to say, that whither he or thou may with his hundred as I spack of now spleen his contrary or out of list to strive, then shall I yeva Emily to wife, to whom that fortune evereth so grace, though listus shall I mecken in this place, and God so wisely on my soul rue that I shall even judge been and true. Ye shall noon author ende, and my macken, that oon of yow ne shall be deed or taken. And if yow thinketh this is weal, is said, saith your avis, and hold your apaid. This is your ende and your conclusion. Who looketh lightly now but Palamon? Who springeth up for joy but Archite? Who couth tellen, or who couth endite? The joy that is mecked in the place, one Theseus hath done so fair a grace, but done on knees went to every man a wicht, and thonken him with all her heart and micht, and namely the Thebans often sith, and thus with good hope and with heart blaith. They taken her leave, and homeward gone they ride, to Thebes in thy older Wallace ride. Here endeth the part the second.